and welcome back to my channel my name is candy if you're new here i want to welcome you and if you're returning i want to say thank you for your support today i will be sharing a recipe for curried goat to get started here i have my goat already well seasoned and i'll show you guys how i did it in just a minute i will be using some potatoes i have some thyme onions i have uh some ground jeera better known as cumin i have garam masala and two types of curry powders here i have the chiefs duck and goat curry powder and the guyanese indie madras curry powder these are my favorites but feel free to use whatever you like or what you have on hand i also have here some habanero peppers garlic basil i have green onions some green seasoning i'll be using some all purpose seasoning black pepper and some bouillon let's jump right in so here's how i seasoned my goat first i washed it up really well in some vinegar and lemon juice and i will be using some turmeric i have my fresh green seasoning i'll be using some black pepper i have chicken bouillon complete seasoning and some all-purpose seasoning super simple so basically i just added all the seasonings to the meat mixed really well and set aside to marinate for about two to three hours Next, I like to combine my curry powder. Here I have a bowl with some water. I will combine the curry powders, the jeera, better known as cumin, and the garam masala. I will also add my green seasoning here, mix the combine, and set that aside. In a preheated pot, I did add some oil, and now I will add that curry mixture. This technique is how we cook curry in Guyana. It's my way, and I like to cook the curry thoroughly before adding the meat or any other ingredient so we'll let this cook for about five minutes we will keep stirring so that nothing sticks or burns three minutes in you'll start to see the curry separating from the oil that means it's halfway there next we'll add half of our onions and all of our garlic we'll let that go for two minutes that will be a total of five minutes now that the curry is fully cooked, we'll add our goat meat, give it a good mix, and just make sure that it is well coated with that curry mixture. You know, the reason for doing this is you want to cook your curry really well before adding meat and stuff because curry has a tendency to mess with your stomach if it's not cooked properly. Also, it has a real bitter, nasty taste. You ever had curry and you can taste the grains in the curry, that's when it's not fully cooked and it's not pleasant at all so you want to make sure that you're cooking your curry properly before adding your ingredients once everything is well coated we will now sit the lid on and allow this to release its own juices once all of the juices are released this is what we're looking at now we will allow the juices to evaporate and once it evaporates i will show you guys what to do next Now that most of our juices has evaporated, we will now add some hot water here. You want to add hot water because you don't want to lower the cooking temperature. You want it to remain the same. So we'll add some hot water, we'll add our thyme, we'll cover this and allow it to cook for about an hour or so. The cooking time depends on, you know, how soft or hard your goat meat is sometimes you have a nice young goat and it doesn't take a long time but if the goat is a bit you know old your meat will take a longer time to cook so we will cover this and let it go for about an hour or so i will let you guys know how long it took after about one hour and 15 minutes this is what we're looking at my goat meat is now tender to the way i like it and I did add some more water halfway through the cooking time because some of the liquid had evaporated and it needed more liquid. So I did do that. And now I'll add my, you know, remaining remainders of the onions, my scallions. I'll add my peppers in here, my potatoes, 
you know, all the rest of my ingredients. I will also add the seasonings to add some flavor and taste to the dish because since I have added water, you know, it diluted everything. So I had to go in with my seasonings here, but you don't want to add too much because when this cooks down, the flavor will intensify even more and you don't want to make it salty. We'll let this cook until the potatoes are nice and tender. And here you have it guys, my curry goat is finally done. It smells amazing up in my kitchen. As you can see, everything looks perfect. The meat is nice and tender, the potatoes are tender, the gravy or the sauce is nice and thick. And this is the way I love it. Now I will plate everything up and I'll be back with the finished product. So today I'll be serving my curried goat up with some roti. I was not in the mood for rice today guys. So you know I had it with some roti and it was so good. It was amazing. I really hope you guys give this recipe a try. This is my version of curried goat. If you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and you guys can hit me up on IG if you've tried a recipe, send me your pictures, I really appreciate it. Have a good day and enjoy!